You know, yeah, I think it slowed down the manhunt too, right? You have lightning and thunder and wind Probably. and hail blowing sure. through, so, yeah. you know. That's yeah. a mess. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that is long gone, that system. That was our first front. We have another front that'll move through this evening, but the one that we're really talking about, that's that's tomorrow. That's okay. the one you're going to be like, oh, he wasn't lying. <laughs> about the <laughs> nicer, cold temperatures again. coming our way. There's a 100% chance we're going to get a lot cooler. Nice. Okay. How about that, right? Or, like or you're not showing up to work the next I know, day. I said that about the rain <laughs> yesterday, but it's 100% yeah. verified, so I'm okay. here today. Good. Yeah. This is how it works. Good to see you. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> if it's a blown forecast, I'm gone the next day. We know how it works. No yeah. big deal. Uh, hey, let's talk about this. I was showing you the OSU forecast game for tomorrow evening. Let's jump ahead to Saturday and uh, 11 o'clock kickoff and uh, temperatures in the upper 50s warming only into the low 70s. Some of those OU Texas games, I've been there, have been so blazing hot. Not this one. Beautiful. We'll have a north breeze, lots of sunshine. Uh, number three up against OU at number 12. And by the way, Jet Castles put the line, I think, last check was uh, Texas given six and a half. Yeah. So I'm I, Jed made this graphic. He Mine's made the gone up. So I'm figuring. I guess Jed's putting some money on the game. <laughs> That's what I'm coming out with. And uh, I didn't know he was a big gambler, but we're gonna go with that. So uh, anyway, that's what's happening this weekend. The OU Texas game. Sure, 11 o'clock. All right, here in Oklahoma City, man, we are doing great. Sunshine, 81 degrees. A north wind at 10. Our humidity, 33%. Dew points are running in the upper. 40s. So the dew points continue to drop. Dry air coming in. It will be nice and cool in the morning. We're in the low 80s right now, down to a 79 in El Reno, 82 in Ponca City, 82 in Hobart. So today's temperatures are fairly close to yesterday, except the air is a lot drier because of the cold front that came through last night. Well, there's another front now coming into northern Oklahoma. That's just going to bring in drier air for tonight. And that's that front right here. Our front and storm of yesterday is off to our east. Look at the jet stream now coming out of Canada. That's a chilly weather pattern for us, right? If it were December or January or February, that is opening up the barn door and letting it all in here, but it's not. It's early October, so the air is cool, but not crazy cold, all right? So we'll take that. But notice as you get north into the uh, Dakotas, this is the wave of air that will come into Oklahoma tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and tomorrow night. And then once you get up into Canada, yeah, I'm in the 30s up there right now. Um, yeah, so. It's happening. The changing of the seasons is quickly happening. So the main cold front, the big one, comes through tomorrow afternoon, moves into northern Oklahoma tomorrow morning, spreads across the state. Now, tomorrow it will end up being windy. It's going to be a north wind at about 20 to 30 miles per hour from about noon till about 6 o'clock, and then the winds will come down. But, man, we're going to bring in this. This is Canadian air. So it's really, really dry. It'll make way, make way for beautiful Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Saturday evening looks great, Sunday evening looks great. A great weekend. Next week, some 80s return. This storm tries to come in here for the end of next week with a wave of rain and some storms, and we'll turn a little bit colder after that. All right, lows tonight, not bad. Low 50s, a light north breeze, and uh, clear skies. Tomorrow, look at the highs, 60s, 70s, upper 70s down south, mid-60s in the north. North winds will pick up 20 to 30 miles per hour behind that Canadian cold front. And look at Saturday morning, 38 in Guthrie, 39 in Piedmont. We did that in a big hurry. 41 here in Oklahoma City, 41 in Shawnee. 30s all across the north and northwest. Mid 40s down south. A little patchy frost coming up Saturday morning in northern Oklahoma. Yep, it's that time of year. Saturday afternoon, temperatures back up in the mid 60s with light winds. Now in the morning Saturday, wind chills will be running in the mid 30s. It'll be a light north breeze, not windy Saturday morning, but the sun will come up, we'll have a north wind, not a big deal, but still chilly. Next week, there's that chance of rain, Wednesday into Thursday and Friday as that storm moves in, we'll cool it off after that. Here we go. Hey, don't go away. We'll be back with a lot more coming up right after this.